How's it going everyone? David from DoD Media. Today I don't want to talk about something that already exists. I want to talk about something that should already exist. And so today we're going to be talking about three things that I wish Adobe would include in the next version of Premiere Pro. So listen up Adobe. Okay, so thing number one. It boggles my mind that there is no way in the audio track mixer to save a preset of your effects rack that you have set up to affect that entire channel. I just, I don't understand how this does not exist yet. Now granted, I know that probably the majority of Premiere Pro users don't know about the audio track mixer. Uh, they apply the audio track effects to every single clip instead of to the entire track. But still, that it's such a powerful feature for audio mixing in this program. I don't understand why you wouldn't try and promote it a little bit more. So definitely being able to save something like this effects rack that I have set up, which has you know, a parametric EQ, a tube modeler, then a little bit of a reverb cut, and then a hard limiter. I don't know why you wouldn't be able to save that as a preset that you can then have in your effects and you can drag it onto one of these effects racks and you're good to go. I don't understand why that doesn't exist yet. So Adobe, sort it out. Okay, thing number two. I I don't actually know if this means that I'm flipping you off or not. If you think that I'm flipping you off, I'm not. I promise. This just literally means the number two to me. Thing number two that I wish that they would include in Premiere Pro is the use of the spacebar on the timeline. Now you're thinking, uh, stupid David, it obviously works. You press play when you press spacebar. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when you hold spacebar in pretty much any other Adobe app and it allows you to use the hand shortcut only temporarily without having to press H or H to go for your hand, move it around and then go back to V to have your arrow so that you can do stuff in your timeline. You just press spacebar in every other Adobe app and it brings up the hand so that you can click and move around. You know, it just, it makes things a little bit faster when you're working. In After Effects, I, I don't know what I'd do without it. And so for that reason, I would love to have it included in Premiere Pro as well. Currently, there's no shortcut that is triggered by holding the spacebar, except freaking out your play button. So really, I don't understand why they don't put it in. And so they should put it in. So put it in. Okay, and then the third thing, third thing, or if you're cool, the third thing that I would love to see Adobe include in Premiere Pro is to have their live loop thing that they have in the whole assembly view windows actually trigger on the timeline. And this can be something that you can enable or disable if you hate it. Um, and essentially what it does is as you hover over it, it would show you what is in that clip at the point where your mouse is, rather than having to drag the cursor along, the playhead along, so that you see it in the program monitor. It would just give you a bit of a quicker glimpse at what is on that clip. And now I know that what you can do is bring this up and then make sure that in this drop-down menu here, you've got your video head and tail thumbnails or continuous video thumbnails, and that will show you, you know, in segments, what is in that clip. But that's, that's just segments. That's not a precise, you know, timeline, time-coded thing based on where your mouse is. And so my thinking is, if they've already got it built into this with these sort of mini live previews, why don't you just build it into the timeline so that if you have got a load of tracks and a load of clips on a load of tracks and you want to, you can enable this feature so that as you scrub along a certain clip, that window would just pop up and show you what's within that clip using all of the thumbnails and previews that it's already generated anyway. Now, I know that's not an essential one to me. It's just a nice to have. Uh, I feel like it would help speed up some people's workflows. It would help speed up my workflow. And before anyone says it in the comments, I will actually be submitting these ideas to Adobe to try and get them to implement them because that's kind of the only way that you can do it. One of the success stories of this, as I understand it, is that Philip Bloom petitioned to Adobe to include some kind of global effects mute button. That right there eventually got implemented into the entire program so that you could just globally mute all the effects. Now, I don't know if it was entirely down to Philip Bloom for pushing this or if it was just a pretty popular vote for a feature to be included, 
But essentially, if you agree with the things that I've said in this video, please do share them. Please do send in your own request to Adobe to have these implemented, because the more people request the same thing, the more likely they are to implement it in future versions. So there we go. That is all I want. I want to be able to save previews of the audio track mixer. I want to be able to hold spacebar and move the hand around on the timeline. And I want to be able to get some kind of live loop on the clips in the timeline using the previews that are already generated. Is that too much to ask for? Give this a thumbs up if you liked what you saw and hit that subscribe button to get more videos from me at DOD Media. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.